Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. My name is George Kingori and I'm your online finance guy who speaks about all things finance. How you can be able to save, how you can be able to invest and how you can be able to grow your financial outlook. And today I'm going to speak about why I do not invest in IPOs, initial public offerings of shares of companies that have just been publicly listed. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. So that you can be able to learn and glean. So one of the reasons that I do not invest in IPOs is because there are no historical public financial records. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, companies that are coming up to be able to offer their shares to the public are not required by most countries under the law to publish their uh, financial records publicly. In fact, those are private records up to the point where they are issuing these shares. And the ones that issue some public financial records are up to a year before the date that they are issuing this IPO. So for five years back and going backward, you cannot be able to see their public financial records. You cannot be able to gauge their financial capability and capacity. And because of this, you are limited in making the decision based purely on financial reasons that would make you invest your money in this company. So for this reason, it is a little bit tricky to invest in IPOs. Ladies and gentlemen, the other thing is the value of these shares that are issued in IPOs are usually speculated. For the company to come up with the value, it usually comes up with the value based on the input of several pro professionals. Remember, they have to gauge as at what price are people willing to buy this share. They again have to determine the price that is best for the company to be able to not dilute too many shares of the original shareholders, but yet be able to capture as much value based on the perception that the public has. Therefore, it is not an objective process. It is highly speculative. It is highly subjective. These are professionals who make a judgment based on their thoughts and thinking. There is no scientifically acceptable method of valuing shares, ladies and gentlemen. And for this reason, I would not tell you to be able to invest in these shares until you are able to determine whether the price is actually objective. The reason for this is many shares of these companies that are issued usually drop significantly after the shares have been have started trading in the stock market as prices adjust to the real reality. Sometimes they go up, but majority of the times they initially go down. So for this reason, I would rather not invest in the IPO, but invest immediately some months after the IPO, after the market has actually corrected any speculative prices to capture real market values. So for this reason, I do not invest in IPOs. The other thing is that, as I mentioned, there is a curse of IPOs. Majority of the IPOs and the shares that are issued in public usually initially go down. And because they initially go down, why should you pay for price in an IPO that is high and it will most likely in a few months go down? Wait for it to go down, then you can be able to buy. So that is usually what is called the curse of IPOs as they get a market shock when they initially go to this point. Case in point, uh, uh, friends of mine, when there was a, in Kenya, there was a company, there's a company, mobile telephone company called Safaricom, and it is a usually a hyped company. It is among the biggest companies that makes a lot of money and has a lot of asset and things like that. And it was owned majority by the government and the government wanted to offload some of its shares including some of the shareholders and many kenyans were waiting in line for these shares in fact few of my personal friends actually took loans to invest in safaricom ladies and gentlemen the initial shock from the price point to going as low as three shillings per share after a few months was shocking. Remember, people had taken loans to buy this IPO because they thought it can only go up. By this share, suffered what is called is a, is, as a shock because from 15 
to three shillings. That is a humongous loss for somebody who has taken a loan at 14% per annum to be able to invest in these shares with the assumption that within a few months they will be able to recoup their money. They lost their money because of the curse of the IPOs. And it happens to many, many IPOs. If you have to invest in an IPO, then invest long term, not short term. Because short term gains are not assured. Ladies and gentlemen, the other reason that you should not invest in IPOs is IPOs are PR propelled. They is a lot of publicity there's a lot of pr activity that goes a lot of news ladies and gentlemen and when it comes to shares i will tell you one thing one secret that people don't tell you sell the news buy the rumors when when there's rumors that the company is not doing well the prices go down and that is the time that you invest so buy the rumor and when the news are very good and markets are going up, sell it. Don't sell when the news are popping up about how wonderful it is. Don't buy then. Buy when the rumors that the company is not doing well, when there's the, the thought that there are going to be losses, when there are profit warnings. That is when you buy, buy, buy. And then sell when the news are really good. So ensure that you are not buying PR because they are PR propelled. In fact, they start doing a lot of features on TV. They start showing a lot of uh, interviews with the CEOs on financial segments on news and things like that. A lot of PR that is propelling the price. Ensure that you do not fall for the PR bug. Ladies and gentlemen, the other thing is probably, and I'm just saying speculatively, probably these shares are sold as a last resort to the public remember when a company is issuing an ipo it is expensive on their end all the pr they have to do all the consultants they have to hire and all this associated cost in fact it is easier for them to give these shares in a private meeting with insurance companies that have a lot of money and individuals who hold a lot of wealth to be able to issue these shares privately it is cheaper when these people cannot invest in them, either they have they know something that you don't know, or they have private knowledge on the workings of this company, they may not buy these shares. And because they may not buy, you as the public are the last resort for these companies that are issuing shares in public, ladies and gentlemen. So ensure that you do not buy after the other people the institutional investors have ignored such calls to buy because you could be a last resort for these companies so be careful and ask yourselves why did these individuals not not buy if the company had set limits and ensured that no institutional investors would buy then that is a different case however if they went to an institutional investors and the institutional investors did not buy to the full extent or at all be careful that is what ipos sometimes can trap you into then the other thing that is associated to the previous shares it could be a shares dump it could be that the business is faring badly it could be they are making losses it could be financial situation is dire and the people who own these shares want to dump them to the public i have seen that with a certain company in kenya a real estate company that went into the stock market and it inflated a lot of pr and I bought a few, like 10 shares, and the price was was around uh, 5 there. But the price significantly went down to cents. Why? Because the fundamentals of the company and the workings, the financial workings of the company did not have a solid base. Ladies and gentlemen, the individuals were simply dumping shares because the company was not working because their business model was failing and because they did not want to burn their fingers they sold off their shares to now the company has never recovered and my 10 shares drank, drank water and it has never recovered because it was a shares dump they wanted to go out and run out and leave the ignorant people like you and me to continue burning in losses ladies and gentlemen the company has never made significant losses and is always on the red so ensure that these ipos do not trap you in their shares dump in their initial public offering ladies and gentlemen 
I hope that you are learning, you are gleaning, and you are growing. So next time you think about investing in an IPO, remember this seven or so reasons that I have given you on why you should not invest in IPOs. Thank you. Remember to subscribe to the channel, to leave a like on this video and a comment so that I may know that I am helping you. You are growing and you are cleaning and you are coming, becoming better in your financial affairs. My name is George Kingori. Thank you and enjoy your day.